Hello, I'm Dr. Benjamin Yip, gastroenterologist and medical director at Alpha Digestive and Liver Center. I see patients with all digestive problems and uh, my interest lies in endoscopy, in particular, advanced endoscopy. Today, we'll be talking about gastrointestinal cancer in Asia. First of all, uh, we need to understand what gastrointestinal is. Basically, these are all the organs that are involved in uh, digestion of food. And it can range from the esophagus or the food pipe, the stomach, which is the organ right after the food pipe, the liver, gallbladder and pancreas, as well as the intestines, both small and large. So a uh, gastrointestinal tract cancer or GI cancer can involve any of these organs. The prevalence or incidence actually refers to the number of persons with that condition in a population. So I will focus on the more common uh, gastrointestinal or GI cancers, namely stomach, uh, liver, pancreas, and large intestine or colon cancer. So to start, uh, gastric or stomach cancer uh, prevalence is about 5% for men and uh, women and uh, it is the seventh most common cancer amongst men and ninth most common cancer uh, amongst uh, females. For liver cancer, the incidence is about 7% uh, in males and it is the fourth uh, most common cancer for males. But for females, it is actually not so common and is outside of the top 10. For pancreas or pancreatic cancer, the incidence amongst males is about 3% as it is the number 10 cancer uh, in males. In females, it is not such a common cancer. So for colorectal cancer, the incidence amongst males is 17% and that amongst females is uh, 13%, making it the most common cancer in males and the second most common in female. So in particular for gastric cancer, being infected with Helicobacter pylori bacteria puts you at higher risk. Also, if one takes a diet that is high in salted and preserved foods and uh, barbecued or charred foods and if you take very little fruits and vegetables all these put you at high risk of gastric cancer. So for liver cancer if you're afflicted with liver cirrhosis which is the end stage damage or failure of the organ, if you have fatty liver, if you're afflicted with hepatitis B or C uh, all these put you at high risk of liver cancer. Also if you're a nut lover uh, be careful because moldy nuts may contain aflatoxin which also puts you at risk of liver cancer. If you're afflicted with chronic pancreatitis, which is a chronic inflammatory condition of the pancreas, and the main um, cause is that of alcohol, you're at high risk. Also, if you have certain genetic or familial uh, cancer syndromes, that may also put you at high risk of pancreatic cancer. In particular, for colorectal cancer, if one has a family history of this cancer, or if you have certain conditions in your, in your large intestine like inflammatory bowel disease or colon polyps, all these put you at a high risk. Lifestyle-wise, if your diet consists of a lot of red meat, uh, preserved foods and low in fiber, um, all these put you at high risk as well. And physical activity is also important to prevent this cancer. So in general, if the cancer has got a high incidence, that will mean a high mortality because uh, more people will be afflicted by it and hands may die from it. So for gastric cancer, East Asia actually has the highest incidence compared to the rest of the world. So for the GI cancers, gastric cancer and liver cancer have got higher incidences in Asia, whereas pancreatic cancer and colorectal cancer have lower incidences. For gastric cancer in particular, uh, East Asians have been known to metabolize alcohol poorly due to a defective gene. So if uh, East Asians take a lot of alcohol, then their risk of gastritis or stomach damage is higher and hence the higher rates of gastric cancer. So for liver cancer, hepatitis B is a major cause of it and uh, it has very high rates in Asia. There may be certain genetic or molecular reasons behind this, but it is yet unknown. For pancreatic and colorectal cancer, however, there are no known genetic or molecular differences uh, between Asia and the West. So some of the countries in Asia are still considered developing and hence the people may not have the resources to go for screening or even for treatment. Hence, uh, the diagnosis uh, may be late and treatment may be late, leading to poor outcomes. These countries may also not have the necessary technology or know-how to manage these cancers 
especially if they are complex, hence also leading to poorer outcomes. Basically, this would be to target the modifiable risk factors that Asians have. So for Helicobacter pylori, if one has symptoms that can be attributed to the stomach, one should be screened for this infection. Uh, for Hepatitis B, if you have certain risk factors, for instance, if your mother or other family members have got Hepatitis B, you should be screened for it as well. It is also important to stop smoking, reduce alcohol intake, and watch your body weight, as all these are risk factors for GI cancers. So if you have any of the risk factors that were highlighted earlier, you should really consider seeing your healthcare provider for a more detailed checkup. Thank you for watching our video and if you're interested in similar content, please check out our website at Medical Channel Asia.